All right, welcome to the Attack of the Friday Monsters. Was that what this was called? I heard about this game in the Kowabun Discord, actually. I don't know too much about it because I really like to play games as blind as possible, but I heard it's just a couple of hours long, so let's check it out. In the 1950s, the prospering Japanese film industry reinvented the monster movie. The giant monsters of the era were kaiju that often symbolized the effects of pollution, such as radiation and hydrogen bomb experiments. In the 1960s and 70s, the hero show was born. Brave heroes challenged the kaiju on primetime television, and the entire nation tuned in. The heroes were just as big as the monstrous kaiju, but they were more like friends to the children of Japan, or even a father that would protect them, no matter the sacrifices he had to make. Oh. Oh, look how cool this is. All right, new game. There we go. Attack of the Friday Monsters. A Tokyo Tale. Yes, I am. Meo hosomete, kaze ni yureru shiro shatsu no mabushisa ni miiru.青空に湧き上がったニュードグモでさえかなわないその鮮やかさ、光。そうたくん、彼はこの星で生まれた奇跡の男の子だよ。彼と私は昭和46年の夏の終わり頃、同じ日にこの町にやってきたの。私は彼
Well, we're much more careful than anyone else, so I don't think you had to grovel like that. You can be such a pushover sometimes. Yeah, I think mum wears the pants here. I just take pride in my work. Yet you don't show any confidence in it. Oh, mum's gone in. Gah! I like that there's Japanese voice acting. Here, take a backpack. It's quite a load of laundry. Okay. Okay, so we're a laundromat. I get that now. I have to use a school backpack to carry laundry? Oh man. Okay, see you later, Mum. Oh, this looks so cool. Soda, don't forget that today's Friday. The monsters come out today, so don't be late. If we're lucky. <laughs> the real one or the one on TV? I can't wait. Don't be ridiculous. The TV monsters are one thing, but real ones are dangerous. And scary. And huge. So be careful, Sota. I will. Oh, hey, Mum. Did you know Guardians Blue Planet Space Defenders is recorded right here in this city? You must be thrilled with all the televisions in Tokyo, huh? We finally moved somewhere that has TV. Indeed. The Legendary Friday, you say? Episode 1, A Fateful Friday Errand. Okay. さて、懸命なる諸君。下のマップをご覧あれ。ここには、エピソードごとに次はどこへ行くべきかヒントマークが表示されるよ。Okay. I can do that. なお、この懸命なる諸君へはツールボタンを押せばもう一度聞くことができます。Okay. I'll do that. Thank you. Okay, where the heck am I? How do I move? Woo, we have movement. Oh, look at this. Okay, well, I have to go according to the map somewhere over here. Wow, I went really far. What the heck? Botanical beast glim obtained. Okay. Sure, okay. Hi, strange lady. Oh, are you headed for the bakery? Yes, I am. You're in the way. Well, Emily's not there. What? Where could she have run off to in the middle of the day? After all that trouble, I can't even order my cake. Well, that sucks. All that trouble. That's right. What? Okay, whatever. Bye. Oh my god, that pun. I'm going to punch them. That was very quick. Episode 2. Love, Courage and Confections. Can we still take a cake? No. Can I take some cash from the register? No. Okay. Fine. Hey, dude. Oh, hi. Um, what was your name again? Boy with glasses. Hello. I'm Teruo Tanaue from the third grade. But everyone calls me what? A+. That's a very strange name. You're the transfer student in fourth grade, right? Hey, why are we following him? <gasps> Something sparkly. Pick it up. Yep, I'm Salta. Why do they call you A+. That is a very good question. I'd rather not say. It's too embarrassing. Too late. You've brought it up. You have to tell me. I may not look it, but I'm pretty weak. Have you noticed all the smoke that comes out of the factory chimneys? I have now. They get really smoky on Fridays. Fridays. Da -da -da -da. Oh, I'm going to punch him. Maybe they do all their frying on Friday. Yes. 
Why would they only fry on Fridays though? I have no idea. But the monsters come out on Friday, hey hey, and that's when they start smoking so much. Oh, that's pretty mysterious. Let's get to the bottom of it. Hey, a lot of kids are going to meet at the vacant lot before the monsters appear. You should come. Sweet. Okay, where's that though? Well, just meet me at the TV station. Where's that? Hello, I just moved here. I don't know where anything is. You're not my supervisor, word of the wise. Oh no, I forgot to ask where the TV station is. Episode 3. Wow, these are just zooming. Meet at the vacant lot. But first... Mesozoic Mosquito. Sure. Uh, I suppose we should head back. Can I run? No, this is his full speed. Hi, who are you? Huh? I didn't see you come outside, Dad. Oh, it's Dad. My bad. The barber sure left his shop in a hurry. His pole is still spinning. Oh my god. I was hoping I could get my hair cut while the laundry was drying. I see this game is going to be full of terrible puns. But I guess he closed up early, being that the monsters come out on Friday and all. There better be monsters, is all I'm saying. Uh, bye, Dad. Uh, this way. Oh, look at this stuff. It's so cool. <gasps> sparkle, sparkle. Oh, I just missed another one. Botanical beast. Yeah, we got two. What's this one? Another botanical beast. Yeah. Four more. Okay. We need to go to the... <gasps> sparkle, sparkle. What's this one? Atrocious avian. Ooh. Um, can I keep going this way? Do I have to go down here? There's kids. No, I don't want the kids. I need to go to the... Um, can't go... I guess I go in the building? Is this the TV station, I'm going to assume? Hi. Speak to me. I have your laundry. Hmm, who could have guessed the other show in our time slot would be so good? This is a disaster. We got a nice summer bonus, but I'm already worried about the end of the year. Ah, uh, how does this go? For service above and beyond, we are proud to honor this courageous youth. Truly, for you have already earned the prestigious title of Space Defense Department Junior Member. I do fine with these ceremonies up to this point, but then I just lose it. I can't keep up with the kids, it makes me so nervous. Nervous as a goat in a coat. Hmm. Can't say I've ever heard that one before. Nervous as a goat in a coat on a boat. That won't float. Oh my god, punch her. Nervous as, I don't know, just so nervous. It's harsh being a teenager. That's a teenager? So it's even worse that I'm already- oh, already 25. Um, this lady has a lot of problems. Are you the trouble lady from the bakery? <laughs> <laughs> Trouble lady. Oh, you're that kid who was hanging around high. Dang, he just went straight in. Throw a... What? Throw a V into trouble and you've got TV, kid. That doesn't make sense. The name's Megami Yamada. I work here at the station. Okay, nice to meet you, Megami-chan. Can I call you Megami-chan? Sure, say kid, do you like monster shows? I love them. Oh, look at that. I love them. Nailed it. That's great. You can add your P to the pod of all the other monster maniacs in this country. Um, thanks. And what would two peas in a pod do if they flew? They'd be birds of a feather. This is the unfunniest lady I've ever come across. And you know what birds of a feather do? They stick together, no matter the weather. Salta, please punch her. That's debatable. Episode 5, Fight for Your Time Slot. These episodes are zooming. Is there anything else I need to do in here? Are they just supposed to talk to her? Do we have the same chat again? Did you manage to find Emily? No, not yet. Huh, I wonder where she went. Okay, well I guess we're done here. 
On to the number two. What the heck? Um, okay, I didn't even see that, but hi. We got the mosquito again. Oh, this is gorgeous. All right, let's head up here. That is so cool. I don't know why that's so exciting, but it is. <gasps> sparkle, sparkle. Primeval Plesiosaur. Nice. Are you Emily? Bakery lady. Yeah. If you got, if you, f what? If you forget your lunch, indeed. One more time. I'm not going to bring it to you. Got it? In fact, I'll be very mad at you. Oh no. But you're already mad. <laughs> you can't do anything for yourself around the house. Oh, they're going in. I mean it. I'll be furious. Wait, just calm down. Oh, hello. Do you need something from the police station? I'm Officer Kobayashi, and you can tell me if there's any trouble. Hi. I don't need the police, though. I'm Salta, the dry cleaner's son. I'm supposed to drop off some laundry for the bakery lady. Oh, that would be me. I figured so, seeing as it said, you know, bakery lady. So, you're Emily. That's me. Yeah. Does it matter? I brought all your clean clothes. That was a full week's worth of uniforms, wasn't it, Heavy? You carried it all by yourself? I sure did. Why don't you give the boy a hand with that, Emily? You can manage getting it back to the store, right? Of course. So, uh, are you guys friends? Not in the slightest. Then, um, why does he call you Emily? Because my name is Emiko. Emiko Kobayashi. Emily for short. Okay. Kobayashi, so you're Detective Kobayashi's wife. I'm an officer, not a detective. My bad. I'm his daughter. Oh, that's even worse. Not his wife. Oh, so you are friends then. No, oh, he's so young and pure. I just said we weren't. No. Hmm, it feels like I'm forgetting something really important. The Errant Errand, Episode 4. Wait, we just went Episode 5 to Episode 4. Sure, sure, whatevs. Um, no, I wanted to look at the train tracks. Can I cross? No, no. Fine, can I go on the police station? No, fine. Fine. What are these little, what's this blue thing? Is that a card or a, no, uh, it's dad. Oh, sparkle, sparkle. Atrocious avian, yeah. All right, suppose we'll go and check out the kids. They were at the park, right? This is so cool, I love it. Hey kids, <gasps> but, oh, I was gonna go grab the sparkle. Sorry to keep you waiting. Finally, energetic boy. Oh, this kid is a transfer student. His name is, um, how rude, you forgot already. Solta Tono. Nice to meet you. And your name was... Haya. Cute girl. I'm in the same class as you. You do remember my name, don't you? Sure. About that. Okay, you could just run off, sure, whatever. Let's pick up the sparkle. Look at that house. It's gorgeous. What do we get? Atrocious avian. Yeah. Alright, what's going on here? I heard rumors, but I sure didn't expect it to be this bad. Yeah, this is bad. What happened? The night before you showed up at school, a meteor fell on the hill in the back of the city. Well. And it caused a landslide. Oh. We all used to play in this vacant lot, but now we can't even get in. I mean, the rocks don't look that big. Let's clean it up together. Eh, easy for you to say. You're the weakest kid here. Don't be a bully just because you're stronger than him. You tell him. Yeah, but... I'll help too. Well, let's divide up the work and get rid of this mess then. Let's do it. Yeah! Teamwork! Nailed it. Phew! That should do it. Eh? What happened to him? A rock fell on the poor guy's feet. Well, that sucks. Ooh, ah, ooh ah. Really? Come on. 
You tell him. Anyway, I'm Lamen. Oh, and I'm in fifth grade. Okay, my dad owns the restaurant over that way. Which way? I wouldn't call it a restaurant. Oh, it's practically part of the train station. It's a place to eat, isn't it? Why is his name Lamen? I'm just still shocked that Sota doesn't remember my name. We're in the same class. Okay. Sorry about that. Jeez. I'm Akebi Yoshikawa. But you can call me Akebi. Okay. Hi, Akebi. And you know A+, he's a super genius. Stop it! He's kind of a crybaby, though. I see that. I said stop! So, uh, what do you guys usually play here? Lately, we've been playing monster cards. Yeah! Okay. Um. Um. Same. Hard same. What is going on? When you lose a game of monster cards, you become the winner's servant until you win against them. That still tells me nothing. And it doesn't matter if you're older, stronger, or how loud you can yell about it. There's only one thing that servants have to remember. You have to fall down when a spell gets cast on you. But why? He's saying what we're all thinking. Because you're the servant. It's so embarrassing. See? Aren't spells powerful? You kids are weird. And just so you know, every newcomer starts off as a servant. Of course they do. If you don't want to fall down forever, you better collect five monster cards. I'm working on it. Then you have to win. But I still don't know how to play. Ah, uh, okay, there's a butler. Huh? It's that weird guy again. Hey there. Um, hi, odd man. I don't get you kids. Why do you fall over if the spell isn't real? Because that's the rules. It's the rules. Them's the rules. Ah, so falling down is a cosmic rule set forth by the planet. Sure. Whoa, it's not that big. Where did the spells come from though, anyway? It's probably ninjutsu. Yes, that has to be it. Yeah, I heard that all the real ninjas are Japanese. Presumably. So the spells have to come from Japan. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. What are you guys talking about? Sota is the most relatable main character I've ever played. Who was that anyway? That was Frank. He's a regular at my dad's restaurant. Why is there a dude called Frank dressed like a butler? In a tiny Japanese village in the 70s. Sure. He stays for hours just watching TV and doing other stuff. Alright, sounds fun. Like what? I asked him once and he said he was researching earthlings. Oh. Okay. What does that even mean? The plot is thickening. That's just Frank. Episode 6. Holy, look at all these shiny things. Let me at them. No, I didn't want to talk to you. Go away. Is Monster Cards fun? Yeah, it's totally fun. I was not talking. Let's pick up this one. What do we got? Botanical Beast. We're almost there. Halfway. Pick up the thing. Atrocious Avian. Alright. Plesiosaur. Atrocious Avian. Oh, soon. Soon. Another one. The mosquito. Okay, where are we supposed to go next? There's another exclamation point right here. No, I can't go over there. Am I supposed to talk to one of these kids again? Fine. I found a hundred yen coin earlier. Good for you. I'll take it to the police station when I get the chance. Akebi-chan took a five yen coin to the police station once too. Aww. She's way too honest, giving back a measly 5 yen. Most people would just keep it. She's a good person, you leave her alone. Well, I wouldn't. My self-esteem comes from living an honest life, you tell them. Self-esteem? What's that? Um, I think it means, like, your inner self gets all warm from the steam of good deeds. 
That's the best way I've ever heard that described. That's why it's called that. A bundle of justice, indeed. Whoa, episode 17, jumping ahead a bit there. Alright, let's talk to the boy. Are you okay after that rock fell on your feet? Sniffle, it still hurts, but. Never mind, it still hurts. There, there. I know I'm just a weak little crybaby, and I don't like it one bit. Sob. It's okay. I've still got a exclamation point happening here.、Uh, let's try talking to him one more time. Hey, I've got a great idea. Since you're new here, I'll show you the ropes, alright? You don't really know your way around the city, right? Yeah, I get pretty lost. Well, do you want me to show you around? Do you know anywhere cool? Ah,、uh, like what? Like a good restaurant? It's hardly a restaurant. Oh, well, there's a TV station. That's why the monsters appear on Fridays, you know? Yes, you keep promising me this. Eh? What do you mean? Just what I said. The monsters show up because there's a TV station. Okay. That is so rude. My dad works for the TV station, you know? There's no way my dad is letting bad stuff happen. Don't blow a gasket, believing is seeing. Indeed, do not blow a gasket. That's seeing is believing. Okay. I know. Let's take Sota on a grand tour of Fujinohana. You better keep up, Sota. Fujinohana Expedition. Go! Auto saving. Is there a way I can manually save? Um. Yeah, let's look at the cards. Nothing yet. There we go. Just in case. Alright. Well, we'll end this episode here. I'm really enjoying this so far, and I'm enjoying the promise of the monsters even more. Anyway, let's find out what happens again next time. See ya!